गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज फॉर ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट एंड ट्वेंटी सेकेंड ऑफ जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ये स्टडे आई वॉज अनेबल टू टेक द क्लास बिकॉज ऑफ सम हेल्थ इशूज बट नथिंग टू वरी अबाउट वी विल डिस्कस दो क्वेश्चन टूडे ओनली ओके लेट स्टार्ट विद अवर सेशन विच कंट्री इज द होस्ट ऑफ एशियान कंट्रीज कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन ट्रेडिशनल मेडिसिन सो इंडिया हैज होस्टेड दिस पर्टिकुलर कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन ट्रेडिशनल मेडिसिन ऑन ट्वेंटी एथ ऑफ जुलाई बेसिक एम इज टू इस्टैब्लिश अ स्ट्रॉन्ग प्लेटफॉर्म टू शेयर द बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस एंड ड्रॉ आई स्ट्रैटी फॉर फ्यूचर कॉपरेशन इन द फील्ड ऑफ ट्रेडिशनल मेडिसिन ओके एंड द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ आयुष विथ सपोर्ट फ्रॉम मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स इंडियन मिशन टू एशियान एंड द एशियान सेक्रेटरीट हैज़ होस्टेड द कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन ट्रेडिशनल मेडिसिन फॉर द एशियान कंट्रीज सो यर करेक्ट आंसर इट बी इंडिया विच कंट्री ऑर्गेनाइज द ऑपरेशन सदर्न रेडीनेस ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एक्सरसाइज सो आई एस सुनैना रिसेंटली टुक पार्ट इन दिस ऑपरेशन सदर्न रेडीनेस ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ऑर्गेनाइज बाय द कम्बाइंड मेरीटाइम फोर्सेज वेर इन सीशल्स and the purpose of the visit was to strengthen the relationships between multiple nations and promote cooperation through the cmf exercise so seychelles is an archipelago of 115 islands in the indian ocean of east africa right so operation southern readiness 2023 exercise has been organized by seychelles and from india side ins sunana has participated next question is The Defence Acquisition Council approved procurement of 26 Rafale marine aircraft from which country? So Defence Acquisition Council which is chaired by our Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has approved total 3 proposals and these include the procurement of 26 Rafale marine aircraft and associated equipment for Indian Navy from the country France. Okay? and the integration of indian designed equipment and also the establishment of maintenance repair and operation hub is to be included in the contract documents so recently defense acquisition council has approved the procurement of 26 rafale marine aircraft from the country france and don't forget that who chairs this council answer will be our defense minister rajnath singh now which institution has recently developed the book titled as healthy recipes for defense so this report was recently released by our defense minister rajnath singh and minister of health and family welfare mr mansukh mandvi so it was developed by the food safety and standards authority of india and basic aim is to encourage the consumption of millets which is also known as shri ann and highlight their numerous health benefits before this our defense minister has also signed a memorandum of understanding with the food safety and standards authority of india to promote the use of millets among the defense forces right so you can be asked that which institution has developed this book the title of which is healthy recipes for defense so that would be food safety and standards authority of india the next question says caste plateau which was seen in the news recently is located in which state or the union territory so caste plateau is situated in the western ghats and it is recognized as a unesco world natural heritage site since 2012 also it is known as caste pathar in marathi and it belongs to the rudraksh family okay why it is a news because a recent research that is conducted on sediment samples from a seasonal lake which is located in this caste plateau of satara district of maharashtra state has revealed a significant change in the indian summer monsoon fine simply you have to remember that caste plateau lies in the state of maharashtra in its satara district the next question is what is the theme of india mobile congress 2023 So the curtain raiser of India Mobile Congress 
was organized recently and this event is jointly hosted by department of telecommunication and cellular operators association of india and this congress uh, will be held from 27th to 29th of october at pragati maidan in new delhi this year and the theme is global digital innovation so this event will witness around 1 lakh plus participants 5000 plus cxo level delegates 350 plus speakers and 400 plus exhibitors fine simply you have to remember that what is the venue for this event answer would be new delhi and what was the theme answer is global digital innovation the next question is which union ministry launched the sagar sampark differential global navigation satellite system so our minister of ports shipping and waterways mr sarbanand sonowal has officially launched the indigenous differential global navigation satellite system the name of which is sagar sampark and it is in line with the digital india initiative so basically it will enhance the digital transformation of indian maritime industry the aim of which is to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of marine operations within the country fine so this initiative is associated with ministry of ports shipping and waterways now apart from it which union ministry has recently launched the action taken report module of audit online basically this atr module of audit online was launched virtually by the union minister of state for panchayati raj mr kapil mureshwar patil and basic objective of the module is to offer a well organized method for conducting the audits so as to guarantee the transparency regarding the steps taken so as to address the audit findings okay so this action taken report module of audit online is launched by ministry of panchayati raj The next question is Michelle Bullock has been appointed as the first female head of which country central bank This is an extremely important question and Michelle Bullock has been appointed as the first female head of Reserve Bank of Australia for a duration of 7 years and the current Reserve Bank of Australia governor Philip Lowe will leave office on 17th of September So for the first time in its 62 years of history reserve bank of australia has appointed a woman as a governor fine so whenever you will see any question regarding women empowerment that question is itself very very important so that would be a five star question i must say now can you tell me the five year work visa will be granted to indian students pursuing masters in which country so during prime minister narendra modi's two day visit to the country france Prime Minister has declared that Indian students who are pursuing a master's degree in France would now be granted a long-term post-study visa, which would last for total five years. Okay, and earlier this deadline was just two years. So France country is basically ranked as one of the top five preferred destination for international students, following the US, UK, Germany. and australia that's why we are collaborating with the country france okay so five year work visa will be granted to indian students who are pursuing the masters degree in the country france which is the world's most livable city as per the eiu's global liability index 2023 what is this eiu economist intelligence unit and as per the global liability index of economist intelligence unit vienna is the world's most livable city and uh, it has ranked karachi at 169th position out of 173 cities evaluated and after that four more countries are there which have the lower rankings than karachi which are these algiers tripoli and damascus along with lagos okay these are the four countries that are below karachi so as per this index vienna is the world's most livable city now can you tell me block 20 which was seen in the news recently is located in which country so block 20 which is previously referred as block 8 is a substantial land based exploration block 
that is located in Iraq's western desert covering an area of 10500 square kilometers now center is looking at resuming the operations of state run ONGC Videsh Limited Hydrocarbon Exploration Block in the country Iraq okay that's why it was in news so block 20 is located in the country Iraq which leader was honored with the grand cross of the legion of honor it is an important question because our prime minister narendra modi was honored with the grand cross of the legion of honor by french president emmanuel macron and this prestigious recognition is the highest honor that is bestowed by the country france whether in military or in civilian fields okay so the highest honor of france has been given to prime minister narendra modi before this he has also been conferred with order of the nile which is a highest honor of the country egypt right also don't forget that the union cabinet has recently granted approval for amendments to the mines and minerals regulation act of 1957 and these amendments will enable the commercial mining of several minerals including lithium as well as beryllium titanium then zirconium etc consequently the ban on commercial mining of these six critical minerals will be lifted okay so mines and mineral act was enacted in which year in india so answer would be 1957 these days it is in news because union cabinet has given approval for amendments in this act which city is the host of medium 2023 exhibition so delhi is preparing to hold the eighth iteration of the middle east international dermatology and aesthetic medicine conference in the month of september in the year 2023 okay so acting as a gathering hub for global experts businesses and the governments this conference is organized by dxb live which is the experiential agency of dubai world trade center with the objective of showcasing the most recent advancements in the field okay so which city is the host of this exhibition so answer would be new delhi now which state or the union territory has launched the gaja kotha campaign so assam has initiated this campaign to address the growing issues of human elephant conflict by involving more than 1200 individuals in promoting the coexistence so this campaign focuses on the villages in the eastern africa which are affected by hec the aim of which is educate the residents about the behavior ecology and the cultural significance of elephants in this region also the aim is to emphasize the importance of their conservation efforts so which state has launched this gaja kotha campaign so that would be assam which indian city is the host of hero asian champions trophy 2023 so union minister of youth affairs and sports along with minister of information and broadcasting revealed the trophy for the hero asian champions trophy the host of which is chennai city where at the major dhyan chand national stadium in new delhi so during the event union minister also initiated the pass the bail trophy tour campaign okay so which indian city is the host of this trophy answer would be chennai now which city has announced the inaugural future sustainability forum this is dubai international financial center which is the prominent financial center in the middle east africa and south asia region has revealed the inaugural future sustainability forum and this event is scheduled to take place on 4th to 5th of october 2023 and this inaugural future sustainability forum marks the year of sustainability in the uae right so which city has announced the inaugural future sustainability forum answer would be dubai the next question is namda a type of rug is associated with which state or the union territory so namda is a type of rug which is exclusively made in jammu and kashmir by enmeshing wool fibers with water soap and pressure and then embroidering the resultant fabric so nearly 2200 individuals from total 6 districts in jammu and kashmir are undergoing training in the endangered namda craft 
एज अ पार्ट ऑफ प्रधानमंत्री कौशल विकास योजना अंडर स्किल इंडियाज पायलट प्रोजेक्ट फाइन सो दैट्स वाई दिस रग इज इन न्यूज दीज डेज इट इज एसोसिएटेड विद यूनियन टेरिटरी ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर नाउ पार्ट फ्रॉम इट एडवांस ऑथराइजेशन स्कीम इज इम्प्लीमेंटेड एंड एडमिनिस्टर्ड बाय विच इंस्टीट्यूशन सो डायरेक्टोरेट जनरल ऑफ फॉरन ट्रेड इम्प्लीमेंट्स एंड एडमिनिस्टर्स द एडवांस ऑथराइजेशन स्कीम अंडर द फॉरन ट्रेड पॉलिसी and this scheme allows duty free import of inputs for the export purposes so as to make the norms fixation process more efficient the dgft has created a user friendly and searchable database of ad hoc norms which are fixed in the previous years so to access the database the exporter of public may visit the dgft website okay simply you can be asked that advanced authorization scheme is implemented and administered by which institution so answer would be the directorate general of foreign trade which country is hosting the global food regulator summit 2023 so india is hosting the global food regulator summit 2023 and this is the first time that india is hosting this event and uh, this summit is organized by food safety and standards authority of india under the supervision of ministry of health and family welfare So this meeting was scheduled from 20th to 21st of July 2023 in New Delhi. So which country has hosted the Global Food Regulator Summit? Answer would be India. Then apart from it, which union ministry has recently launched the CRCS Sahara portal? So Union Home and Cooperation Minister Amit Shah has recently launched this CRCS Sahara refund portal. and it will actually facilitate the submission of valid claims by authentic depositors from four cooperative societies who are associated with the sahara group and this is a part of the refund of 5000 crore rupees to the depositors of four sahara group cooperative societies whose funds are struck right so which union ministry launched the crcs sahara portal answer would be union cooperation ministry which institution prepares the export preparedness index actually the third edition of the export preparedness index report for the states and the union territories of india has been published and it is published by niti aayog main objective of this report is to provide the state governments with specific and localized information that can actually help in decision making and it can identify areas of strength address the areas of improvement as well okay so export preparedness index is prepared by niti aayog then uh, international energy agency in association with which institution has released the iea oil 2023 supply and demand dynamics 2028 report so iea means international energy agency and petroleum planning and analysis cell which works under union ministry of petroleum and natural gas have jointly released a report the title of which is iea oil 2023 and in this report they have told that the global oil demand is expected to experience a significant deceleration and it would nearly reach a standstill by the end of 2028 what's inside the report is not at all important only thing you have to remember is this report has been published by international energy agency along with the petroleum planning and analysis cell Next question is Safran helicopter engine which was seen in the news recently is an aerospace company of which country So India and France have decided to collaborate in development of combat aircraft engine and the engines specifically for the Indian multi role helicopter which is a project undertaken by the state owned Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and in this regard the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and Safran helicopter engine have finalized a shareholders agreement for the development of engines okay so safran helicopter engine is an aerospace company of the country france now which institution has recently released the fresh guidelines regarding appointment of senior advocates in the supreme court so answer would be supreme court itself supreme court of india has released the fresh guidelines regarding appointment and practice of senior advocates in supreme court and the new guidelines are introduced by the supreme court 
have now replaced uh, the previous guidelines that are issued by the court in the year 2018. So this change comes as a result of the court's ruling in the case of Indra Jai Singh versus Union of India in the year 2017. Okay. Now there is one more question which I need to discuss. Can you tell me which breed of fish is used to tackle mosquito-borne diseases? So that is Gambusia. Why it is important? Because the government of Andhra Pradesh has recently introduced nearly 10 million of Gambusia fish into the state's water reservoirs as a measure to prevent the mosquito-borne diseases in the state. Okay. So you can be asked that which breed of fish is used to tackle mosquito-borne diseases or which state has introduced this fish into their state. So that would be Cambusia. And the state is Andhra Pradesh. So these are the most important current affairs and the news from today. And now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide, you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two, three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today. And we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Meenu Zahad Sana, signing off.